We've said this for a long time, but the, the unfortunate thing is that as a foreigner in China, when it comes to books, there's not a lot of choice. Oh, it's almost none. Yeah. Almost I, none. I remember in Shenzhen, I would go to Book City. They've got a place mm. called Book City. It's a huge building. And it sounds impressive because, you mm. know, what? it's it's a city of books. Not really. It's just a big building full of, you know, different bookshops and various other things. Not just bookshops, actually. Mainly it had training English and other language training centers in it. And stuff. Uh -huh. But it did have a lot of books and a lot of stationery and that kind of thing. But as an English-speaking person, to find actual English books in there is very difficult, or any foreign language books. It's a very limited selection, and of course, it's only censored and banned. Like, you know, yeah, the irony stuff that's is not that they, they have foreign language sections, right? Yes. So I went to, I was in a pretty major city, right? Went to this yeah. bookstore, and they had like a foreign language section, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, cool, maybe I'll pick up some books, because like... There's only so much you can do by sitting down and, and reading like very intense novels in Chinese or something. You want to you want to read something in your native language once in a while, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So you go there and it was just those very cheap like uh, homework manuals to like practice your English. That's what yeah. their foreign language you know section yeah. meant was like test materials for Chinese people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it, it's quite depressing because you know like yeah, sense <clears> honestly, like yeah. If you are somebody who likes to read books, it's hard to find them. Anyway. This particular foreign languages bookstore is. Yeah, I did want to say one thing. Even yeah. if you do read Chinese, like you said, it's going to be hard for you to find anything interesting to read because mm -hmm. of so books are heavily, heavily censored, yes. even more so than other stuff. Yeah, in China, yeah. it's it's pretty bad. It's limited. Yeah, I know this for a fact because uh, just I wanted to release release like a little magazine. When I was working yeah. at the rapist school. Oh, don't even bother. So I wanted to release like, I don't know, a bi-weekly or one, once a month, kind of like for the school. And it would have like some language training stuff in it. Bi-weekly, that's pretty yeah, open-minded week. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. Anyway, it'd be kind of a fun thing where people could read something interesting, learn mm -hmm. a little something. Mm -hmm. And I, I ran it by the boss because, you know, we could put it together quite easily. And he was like, don't bother because it would have to be sent into the censorship yep. board yep. and it takes forever to get approved. It's very costly. It's such a pain in the ass. He's like, yep. don't, don't do it. Yep. Anyway, Foreign Languages Bookstore over here has got a fantastic selection of foreign language books. Thought we'd show it to you all. <laughs> <laughs> this is not edited, by the way. No. And I actually zoomed it in yeah. so you could get an idea. Oh, you got another zoom? Because it's, it's true. I mean, they didn't lie. It is yeah. not false advertising. These are foreign language books. Yes. Uh, they are... Xi Jinping's it's like a, there's in um, Arabic and in like German yes. and in it's Xi Jinping, English. It's the governance of China by Xi Jinping, part one, two, and three in many languages. Yeah, so, so this is, is the foreign, foreign language, languages, yeah. foreign language section over here. Yeah, we were joking about this, and I was saying, you know, if I was trapped in this hell where the only book I could ever read is this disgusting book, uh -huh. I would start to just take the words and rearrange them and write my own story. You know what I mean? Interesting. I'd make like an adventure story out of Xi Jinping's governance. That would be a, considered a piece of art, I believe. Yeah, you know where you have to, you, you're limited to only the, the words in that book. Interesting. But imagine you're like, you feel like you're trapped on a desert island or something yeah. if this is the only thing you can read, right? Do you think if you only read this on a desert, let's say you had a, a year. Yeah. Right. Of course, if you're trapped on a desert island for a year, you're going to end up reading this book if that's the only one you have. Yeah. Do you think you would succumb to the propaganda or not? Absolutely not. Do no. you think I should have I should have phrased this better? Of course yeah. we wouldn't. No. Um, because we understand China and I have actually read some of this. Um, braver than me to read that crap. Yeah, it was a given as a gift. I remember some, that in your house. Yeah. Yeah. You can imagine who gave that yeah, to you. Yeah, I know who gave that, that to you. But, mm -hmm. um, someone that didn't have malintent. No. Just thought that I might understand China better. Mm -hmm. That's that's irony. Yes. I think you understand China worse if you read this <laughs> Yes, if book. you read this book, yeah. Anyway, The Governance of Xi Jinping, part one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. Do you think the average person, human being, normal person that doesn't know much, do you think they would succumb to the propaganda? I think they would just fall asleep, to be honest. Yeah, this it's is good, very boring. You wouldn't need Ambien. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But I do think if you were limited and it was like a project and you could only use the words I like that and idea, mix yeah. it around. It's kind of cool. Yeah. That's what I'd do yeah. if I was stuck with that crap. Anyway. We should all know Zhang He Ching by now, by the way. If you're part of the show, uh, you'll recognize this. <laughs> he posts a lot of fake shit. Yeah. He's always posting like absolute nonsense. But I went to go look at his feed. Um, today, because I was just looking for panda stuff. If you search uh, at Zhang He Qing underscore He Qing panda, yeah. you literally have hundreds of yeah. panda stuff. Yeah. Because every time, like you say, there's mm. something bad going on in China, it's like, look at this cute panda. This cute panda is hanging on the tree. This panda is doing kung fu. Oh, look, this panda is rolling. You know what I mean? 
We made rightful criticism mm -hmm. um, I, on his account, uh, under his post. He keeps posting fake things, right? And it, it, we think it's immoral to be posting fake images and videos of lakes and trains trying to yeah, to, yeah. Trying to make people think there's no genocide in Western China. Yeah, it's like, China. this is Xinjiang, and he shows like a, a fake, fake AI Swiss Alps. Yeah, Swiss Alps of <laughs> yeah. AI. Anyway, mm. so we, we rightfully criticize him and be like, why are you showing this fake stuff? Anyway, he blocked me. He blocked, he didn't block me though. He didn't block you. He followed me, I said something, then he blocked me. Oh, what a dumbass. Uh, Hua Chun Ying blocked did not me. block me, but blocked you. Yes. So it's Very like- Very interesting. Hmm. So it we're, is, two, we're two for two here. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, with Chinese officials. This is a uh, from, somebody sent me this from the Discord, which I loved. I wonder if we still have that soundbite. I would like to find it. Well, What's it comes. There it is. So now we have the- uh, I'll get it back to this. But guys, what this stems from is this ridiculous uh, apologist who is trying his best to stay in China and he really, his visa was coming up. We think, so, yeah. no, absolutely it yeah. was. Um, and he was trying to like, I don't know, somehow get the Chinese government to like have mercy and give him a visa. So he went on this ridiculous rant, okay, mm. on a beach trying to praise China in every single it was way. It's a funniest it's like thing. It's like the we, best shill yeah, attempt it's ever. A, it's, and we did a whole thing about it. But anyway, part of it, he was trying to say... He also tried to get it removed. Yeah, he was uh, trying to... doesn't work. <laughs> no. It's he he tried to YouTube, say... YouTube, <laughs> dude. So. Yeah. He was like, I'm... I think he was trying to say, I'm in China. I think he was trying to say, I'm in China. But he says... What's I Zhongguo? It should yeah. sound like this. What's I Zhongguo? Yeah, but he said... What's I Zhongguo? Does that sound like, what's I Zhongguo? <laughs> no. Sounds like which means I shoe pets. And yes. so it's become kind of a meme around here. Yeah. And this is a fantastic representation of that. Um, and Amazing, uh, right? it's awesome. Yeah. Might, might make a merch out of that sometime because that's such that's a good That's so design. good because people would understand it if they were part of the show. I just yeah. love it. It's a great font. Mm -hmm. I love the, uh, the, all the animals on it. Yeah. It's really good stuff. So this guy's just painting the pig black so he can sell it for a lot more at market. Let's move on to some more hammy, hammy humor. Okay. <laughs> wow, they're going for it, aren't they? Some of his clothes were thrown out, out the window. A lot of them were cut up. Some of them were burned. She was too crazy. She lunged at him with a knife. She was in this jealous rage. If you don't go home now, I'm going to walk out into traffic and kill myself. Oh.